Praise the Lord and God bless you and welcome in again to Freedom Gospel Church. We wish each and every one of you traveling mercies, those that are out and about right now today, enjoying your families on this precious Thanksgiving. We want you to know that we are here right now at Freedom Gospel Church praying for you. And let us begin with some Thanksgiving Bible verses as we go into prayer. Psalms 107 verses 8 and 9 says, Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind, for he satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with good things. Psalms 95 verse 2 and 3 says, Let's come before him with thanks. Let's shout songs of joy to him. We pray today in the strong and mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that your home will be blessed, that your life would be blessed, and the Lord strong and mighty remains the king of your life. 1 Timothy 4 verses 4 and 5 says, For everything God created is good, and nothing to be rejected if it is received with thanksgiving, because it is consecrated by the word of God and prayer. So we are praying with you over your Thanksgiving meal and over your Thanksgiving life. For God made everything good. So enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Psalms 130. Verse 4. This is the day the Lord has made. We're rejoicing and glad in it. Colossians 2, 6 and 7 says, As you therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith, so as you have been taught, abounding in it with thanksgiving. Again, happy Thanksgiving from Freedom Gospel Church. We thank God for you and we pray that you continue to enjoy your family and your friends and your loved ones today. As we open up 8 a.m. Thanksgiving prayer, we stand on Colossians 4 2 and 2. Devote yourselves to prayer being watchful and thankful. This continues our 77 days of prayer here at Freedom Gospel Church and as we travel around. So wherever you are in the world and tuned in, I want you to know 1 Corinthians 1 and 4, I always thank my God for you because of his grace given you in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Happy Thanksgiving and God bless you and welcome in. Brother Wishes is here and Son Ali is here. And we are excited, hallelujah, for another Thanksgiving that God has graciously given to each of us. Revelation 11 and 17 says, We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, who is and who was, for you have taken your great power and begun to reign. We are wishing all of you a blessed and safe. Oh, wonderful. Wishing you a blessed and safe Thanksgiving. In Jonah 2, verse 9, it says, But I, with the voice of thanksgiving, will sacrifice to you what I have vowed I will pay. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Amen. Praise Jesus. First Corinthians 15 and 57. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Holy and wonderful 
Father, thank you for sending your only begotten son, Jesus, for all of us. We're so grateful. Grateful for the remission of our sins through your, the precious blood of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Lord, we ask you to bless families and homes around the globe. Everyone is going through many, many different things. We honor you and we bless you. We thank you for every portion of our life is a gift. So we ask you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts, which we are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray this prayer over the feast of meal that we shall share today at Freedom Gospel Church. We pray you pray that prayer over your homes as well. So, O oh Lord, with humble hearts we pray thy blessing this Thanksgiving and ask that at the table place where grateful folks say words of grace that thou will come to share the yield thy bounty gave to farm and field. We pray thy love will bless, O oh Lord, each hearth, each home, each festive board, and thy peace will come to stay where candles glow. Amen. We'll be lighting candles later today here at Freedom Gospel Church. And you can, you're welcome to stop by and light one as well for your family. Our Father in heaven, we give thanks for the pleasure of gathering together today on this Thanksgiving occasion. We give thanks for this food prepared by loving hands. We give thanks for life and the freedom to enjoy it and all the other blessings. As we partake of this food, we pray for health and strength to carry on and try to live as you would have us to live. This we ask. In the name of Christ, our Lord, and our Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you and welcome in. Good to see you, Zilda. Welcome into Freedom Gospel Church. Okay. <sighs> Do you see granddaughter Ariana? Because she was right on the way. Let me look real quick. Trying to find granddaughter Ariana. She was on the way, but I don't know what happened. know where she went okay first chronicles 16 and 8 to verse first chronicles 16 verse 8 through 10 says this Give thanks to the Lord and proclaim his greatness. Let the whole world, hallelujah, know what he has done. Sing to him. Yes, sing his praises. Tell everyone about his wonderful deeds. Exalt in his name. Rejoice, you who worship the Lord. Amen. Lord, thank you so much for your gift of salvation and your many promises that bring me hope, peace, and joy. May I see today all I have to be thankful for. 
In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Would you like to pray the next one, Allie, or you're not voicing right now? Okay, no problem. Be present at our table, Lord. Be here and everywhere adored. Thy creatures bless and grant that we may feast in paradise with thee. Father, we thank thee for flowers that bloom about our feet. Father, we thank thee for tender grass so fresh to sweet. Father, we thank thee for the song of the bird and the hum of the bee. For all things fair we hear or see. Father in heaven, we thank thee for blue of stream and blue of sky. Father, we thank thee for pleasant shade of branches high. Father, we thank thee for fragrant air and cooling breeze, for beauty of the blooming trees. Father in heaven, we thank thee. For this new morning with its light, Father, we thank thee. For rest and shelter of the night, Father, we thank thee. For health and food, for love and friends, for everything thy goodness sends. Father in heaven, we thank thee. Ralph Waldo Emerson, one of my favorite poets and writers. O oh God, when I have food, help me to remember the hungry. When I have work, help me to remember the jobless. When I have a warm home, help me to remember the homeless. When I am without pain, help me to remember those who are suffering. And remembering, help me to destroy my complacency and bestir my compassion. Make me concerned enough to help by word and deed those who cry for what we take for granted. In Jesus' name, amen. That's by Samuel F. Pugh. We are so grateful tonight. And this morning and this day for another opportunity to thank God for another Thanksgiving. Oh God, we thank thee for this earth, our home, for the wide sky and the blessed sun, for the salty sea and the running water, for the everlasting hills and the never resting winds, for trees and common grass underfoot. We thank you for our senses by which we hear the songs of the birds. We see the splendor of the summer fields and taste the autumn fruits and rejoice in the feel of the snow, the smell of the breath of spring. Grant us a heart wide open to all this beauty and save our souls from being so bland that we pass unseeing when even the common thorn bush is aflame with your glory. O oh God, our creator, who lives and reigns forever, we thank thee. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us therefore proclaim our gratitude to the province and manifold blessings. Let us humbly be thankful for inherited ideals and let us resolve to share those blessings and those ideals with our fellow human beings throughout the world. On this day, this Thanksgiving day, let us gather in sanctuaries dedicated to worship, 
Let us gather in homes, being blessed by our families, our affection to express our gratitude for the glorious gifts of God. And let us earnestly and humbly pray that he will continue to guide and sustain us in the great unfinished task of achieving peace, justice, and understanding among all men and nations and of ending misery and suffering wherever they exist. And that was a prayer of gratitude by President John F. Kennedy. I'm so glad today that we have an opportunity to tell the people that we love we care. I'm so glad today that we have the opportunity to hug someone, to remind someone our Jesus lives by our witness, by our love for others, by his goodness and his mercy. The 100th Division of Song says this, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. I'm so glad we can say this together. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. For those that are tuned in around the world on the recording, God bless you. Let me take a moment to simply say this. Father God, in the strong and mighty name of Jesus, I come. I thank you for my parents, Mackie and Jeanette Sadler. I thank you for the anointing on their life. I pray, God, that you would bless them and keep them and give them a life, O oh God, of longevity. Father God, we thank you that they have a portion of health and strength. I thank you, God, that they have taught us the basic foundation of the word of God until it grew from a seed into something magnificent. I thank you, God, for the many sacrifices of my parents that I would be here able to thank you, God, for giving me such wonderful earthly parents. Father God, I thank you that my mom has taught me to be compassionate, to be kind, and to remember to laugh through it all. Father God, I thank you for my father's wisdom and his anchor that has never failed any of us in this family. He's been a man of God, a man of strength, a man of integrity, and a man of great character. And he got all of those traits, oh Lord, from you. So thank you, Heavenly Father, for my parents today on this Thanksgiving. Give them traveling mercy as they go to visit my niece, Kiana, Bless all the family that will gather there today and take a partake of that delicious meal. Bless them, O oh God, and keep them and surround them by your Holy Spirit. Bless my brother Michael and my sister-in-law Tanya. Bless, O oh God, all of their beautiful children. And bless, O oh God, their children. Father God, we thank you. We thank you for my children Silence, Wayne, and Joshua. I thank you for my bonus children, Joshua, for Nia, for Aaron. And I thank you, God, for Quincy. I thank you, God, for my bonus children around the world that you've given me in my spiritual heart and in my soul. I thank you for all of them all around the world, God. It is humbling to be their mom. Father, bless each of their homes and their children and their children's children. 
Lord bless their church homes and other vast places they might travel today, or even if they're home, give them better strength of health today, God, and comfort those that are in mourning. Father God, we thank you that even though some might be missing from the dinner table, we pray they have received the Lord Jesus Christ and are resting solely in you. Father, we pray that someone today would receive the Lord Jesus Christ, and we pray it right now. As people are gathering at dinner tables, may they ask the most important question. Do you know where you will go after you die? Do you have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ? And can I help facilitate you meeting my very best friend, Jesus Christ? We offer him to you today. And if you're tuned in, you can pray this prayer. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I'm a sinner. I want to be more like you. So I renounce Satan and sin. And I ask you, Sweet Savior, come into my life. Take charge. I surrender everything to you. I believe that Jesus died on a cross and arose again on the third day with all power in his hands. I surrender all the places that I'm broken so that I can be rebuilt from the inside out. I thank you, Jesus, that I choose you today and every day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And if you said that prayer anywhere in the world, please write me at shaltina at gmail.com or at Yvetta Jackson at Yahoo or, or at Yvetta Jackson at Yahoo.com and let me know. Just either write Pastor Shaltina or write Pastor Yvetta in real life. I just received the Lord Jesus Christ. Because I want to write back to you and give God all the glory, all the praise, and see how I can be a blessing in your life wherever you are in the world today. Lord, we thank you for farmers that are still farming and giving us safe food. Thank you, God, that you are the maker of that food. Make it nourishment for our bodies. Lord, we ask you to bless those that are working today in hospitals, in hospice, and doing caregiving work, making a difference for those that are marginalized, that are sick, and otherwise would have been uncared for and left alone. God, we thank you. We bless you. And we honor you. I thank God for every doctor. First of all, the chief physician, Jesus Christ, for taking care of me in season and out of season. But for the countless doctors and nurses that have given of their time and sowed into my life, I am grateful. Bless their homes, O oh God. Bless their family and loved ones as they have sacrificed and served. In COVID, when there was no COVID, they served. They're on the front lines offering all their knowledge that they trained years for to help rescue and help save someone's life that they don't know. So thank you for all those doctors and nurses that make a difference in my life. I thank you, God, for them. I pray today for Dr. Tabrici's family. He was my cardiologist, but more so he was my brother in Christ. And he's resting in the Lord this year. And we would normally be exchanging jokes right about now. So comfort his wife today and his beautiful family, God. I ask you to comfort today Dr. Kelly for her son and for her husband, and for her sister. It's a lot. So we ask you to bless our associate pastor and staff, Dr. Kelly, 
in her day-to-day, send ministering angels her way. We thank you, God, for all the staff at Freedom Gospel Church that are making the difference. We thank you for Pastor Angel over in the UK. We ask you to bless her parents in the strong and mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray today for Associate Pastor Deborah and her daughter Cookie, my niece, in the strong and mighty name of Jesus. Bless them in Canada, God, and all that are serving in Canada that are a part of this ministry. We pray today for everyone around the globe that they know they're not alone. And our King, Jesus, loves them and loves us. Lord, I thank you today for my sis evangelist, Sis V, and her husband, Rudy. Thank you for bringing him through the procedure. And now he doesn't need a coloscopy bag. You kept your promise. We thank you even right now for granddaughter Ariana, for her sister that had cancer of the brain. And you totally healed it as we prayed and answered those prayers, God. We thank you. We pray for Cameron right now in the strong and mighty name of Jesus. We pray today, God, that you heal my mother's stomach in the name of Yeshua. God, we pray today that you continue to keep your hedge of protection around my dad and my mom. We pray today for my sisters and my brothers. We pray today. Lord, that you continue to bless all of my sisters and brothers around the globe, God. You know them. And we love them. We pray for Shantina, God. And we pray, God, for all my other extended brothers, God, that you would look after them all over the globe. God, bless them. We come, God, for my brothers in ministry that we've labored and laughed together through examiner's board and through prayers and supplications we are standing. I pray today for my sisters in ministry and my mothers in ministry and my mentors in ministry and wish them, God, all a blessed and safe Thanksgiving. I pray for my sis, Rayetta, and their sis, I pray for her. I pray, God, for her healing, Jesus. I pray, God, for Sis Tony. I pray today, God. I pray in the strong and mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for Sissy Debbie. I pray for Sissy uh, Catherine. I pray, God. I pray that you bless their homes and their families and keep them strong and heal their bodies. Father, I pray for Sissy Kathleen in the strong, mighty name of Jesus. Bless Pastor Kay and all of her her congregation. Father, we pray today for Pastor Axel and Pastor Claudia. We pray for Bishop Taylor and we pray for his queenly wife, my sis, Pastor Taylor. Father God, we just ask you to continue to bless all those who we love and adore. Bless Renee and Renee. Bless, oh God, Eva today. Evangelist Eva, bless Eva Taylor in a strong and mighty way right now, God. I pray for my grandchildren. I pray for my son that's away. Protect Wayne in there, God. Have mercy upon him and all that are incarcerated. In the strong and mighty name of Jesus the Christ, set the captives free. Father, I pray today. I pray. I thank you for bringing brother wishes our way. I thank you for Opie, God, and I thank you for our son, Allie, and son, Corius. I thank you for daughter, Ethereal. I thank you for Nisi, Silen, that's traveling with her dad, that you give her traveling mercy. I pray today. I pray. I pray, God, for our deaconesses, Ethereal, and I pray for deaconess in training. Nisi Silen, I pray right now 
for Sergeant in Arms Ayesha, who might be working. We pray today, God, for grandson Christopher and his father in the strong and mighty name of Jesus the Christ. I pray for my sis Fire Eyes, and I pray for my sis Joni. I pray, God, and I pray. I pray for my sis Judy and for her husband that's suffering with cancer. I pray, God, I pray. Have mercy upon them. I pray today, God, for Sis Priya, who's at stage four cancer, and they say she should already be gone, but she's still standing and giving you all the praise. Continue to heal her body, God. I pray right now for my niece, Tamar, and for her goddaughter, and for the economic increase on their lives so her sons and others can go to universities. I pray for Nisi Taya, God, that you would bless her and her family. We pray today for Sis Vivid and her son in the university. We pray, God, we pray. We pray for Sis Adela in the strong and mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray, God, that you bless each home today and each heart. We pray for Lisa and Anna. We pray that you touch Maya that used to believe, but she's lost her way. Lord, use us as a bridge to help those find their true destiny in you. I thank you for the opportunity to serve though I am the least of these. Thank you for comforting me. As my beloved husband, Pastor Leonto Jones, known in SL as Pastor Balladeer, rests well with you and is sleeping well in your presence. I thank you for how you've blessed me with people that are loving and kind towards me and towards the body of Christ. I thank you for those that are opposed to Christ and gives me opportunity to witness to them. Lord, give me the strength to endure, for I am indeed the least of these. Thank you for allowing me to serve as senior pastor here at Freedom Gospel Church, but you are the chief shepherd. You're the doctor that's never lost a patient. You're the lawyer in the courtroom. You're the way maker, the promise keeper, the deliverer, and our great hope. As we pray for Israel, we pray for Gaza. As we pray for Gaza, God, we pray for those in Russia. As we pray for those in Russia, we pray for those that are in Romania. We pray for the Ukraine. We pray for the wisdom of the leaders in the United States, in the United Kingdom, in Austria, in Africa, in China, all around the globe. God, we ask you to bring leaders into subjection to your holy will, that they lead us not just haphazardly, but they get a real relationship with you so they get wisdom. Father, we pray for those in Norway. We pray for those that are in Danish countries. We met someone at Bible study last night from Poland. Hallelujah. We thank God for Jamie in Poland joining us here at Freedom Gospel Church. I never met a person from Poland in Second Life. So it was a delight for her to stay through Bible study and learn with us. And for her to pray with us. We thank you God. We thank you for Lisa coming. And joining Freedom Gospel Church. We thank you for Opie coming to the Lord Jesus Christ. And receiving Jesus. On November the 14th. At Revival Night. As you used us God to preach the word. Now God. Bless us. We pray for Deacon Marius in training. 
Bless him and his family today. <clears throat> Bless them, O oh God, as they partake of the food. Bless his mom and his dad. Bless his brothers. Bless all of his nieces, God. Bless his sister-in-law. Who's married to his brother. Father God, we just pray. And ask that more men would come to Freedom Gospel Church and put hand to plow. We ask you to bless Sis Pat Carew for what she labored here. Heal her body as we keep her before you, Jesus. Look after her and her companion. Father, we pray right now in the strong and mighty name of Jesus for Pastor Constantine and his First Lady at faith chapel we pray for all of those at calvary chapel that we're standing in agreement with and praying for we pray oh god we pray for those at acts 29 ministry my sis abiella and my brother over there that leads that congregation we ask you to bless and keep them oh god we ask you to continue to heal abiella's granddaughter in jesus name and the other precious little one that we've been praying for. Father, you know all about it. Bless them and keep them. Father, we pray, we pray, we pray for my spiritual son, Pastor Alberto Arlington of Elevation Church, who came out of Freedom Gospel Church and is doing marvelous things at Elevation Church. Father God, we pray, we pray, we pray. I thank God for my sis, Ricky. Hallelujah, God, how you've been using her over the years to write tracks and distribute them throughout Second Life history. Father God, we pray today for sis Daisy that you will comfort her. We pray for sis Sori, who's going to miss her dad and my husband today in a real way. Bless her and comfort her as well. Father God, I pray today that all the lost might be found and that no one is left behind. We thank you for my son, Allie. We thank you for all at St. Bernadette's. We thank you for Father Christopher. I ask you to bless their homes. Heal his body. Look after some curious and his family. Keep him safe from all hurt, harm, and danger. Even as I pray right now for granddaughter Ariana, no matter what the doctors found in her brain this week, I speak that it's healed in Jesus' name. That the swelling will go down in Jesus' name. That God, whatever it is, you are already on duty taking care of it. I stand on the word of God and I don't back down. It was not long ago they found, found a frontal lobe tumor of my brain that was the size of a baseball. And Lord, we pray to you. And now the doctors can no longer find it. So Lord, right now, by the unction of the Holy Spirit, I claim that same victory for granddaughter Ariana and say, peace be still. I pray for my granddaughter Tossie right now in Jesus' name. Let her know I love her, God. She is not alone. I pray today for my grandson, Junior. I pray today for Maya. I pray today for my granddaughter, Ariana. I pray today. I pray. 
no weapon formed against us shall prosper. I pray for my son's Wayne's children. I pray, God, for them. I pray for all of my sister-in-laws from Baltimore to New Orleans. I pray for all my sister-in-laws that I love and adore for who they are and how they walk with you, God. I pray, God, I pray that this Thanksgiving someone that is homeless receives a home. Somebody that's hungry receives a plate of food. For somebody that's laying in a hospital bed and you think everyone's forgotten about you. God did not forget about you. I once laid on those pristine sheets. You are not alone. God is with you. And we're praying right now in Jesus' name for you. For you. And for you. We pray, oh God, we pray. As Nisi's traveling from one part of Texas to Louisiana, protect that car and protect her and her dad. Protect my son in San Antonio and his companion, Ari. They're expecting a brand new baby for Christmas Day. My other grandson on the way. Lord, let the baby be healthy and safe. Let him be born to serve you all of his life. May he become a righteous and holy man. And may he be kind and gracious to others. May he walk a life that is pleasing in your sight with Joshua anointing on his life. We pray this in the strong and mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, we thank you. We thank you so much for Opie's son who sang, Is the lamb ready? I don't smell nothing cooking yet. It was wonderful when she shared her son's story. It reminded me, Josh, when you were little and I couldn't find you and you sat in front of a refrigerator <laughs> eating everything and I thought I'd lost my baby. I was looking upstairs and downstairs and there was Joshua eating like there was no tomorrow with this little diaper on, <laughs> food in both hands, cheeks covered with food, and me going, wasn't that the roast for the entire family that he's eating between two slices of bread? <laughs> so Lord, we thank you for the Thanksgivings that all we had was oodles and noodles, that good ramen, we thank you for that. We thank you, Lord, for your abundance, blessings of the many turkey dinners that my grandmother prepared for us. And she said some magnificent prayers that can never be forgotten. I thank you for the deacons and my grandmother that taught me how to pray. <laughs> I thank you for my granddad that taught me how to serve. He was never ordained in ministry. But every day of his life, he served. He's one of the greatest missionaries I ever knew. God, I pray for my grandfather in repose. On the other side, I pray, God, I pray 
for the ministry of Freedom Gospel Church that we remain a family strong and mighty around the globe. Lord, asking you to have mercy in all of these global crises. Keep our family safe, our children from all hurt, harm, and danger, our grandchildren safe. May our eyes remain fixed on you, who gives us perfect peace. I stand on Psalms 37 and 5. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Thank you for loving us, God, and bringing us to another Thanksgiving. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Lord, we thank you for nephew Trini. <laughs> we thank you, Lord, for blessing his life and bless his daughter. Make her a beautiful young lady all the days of her life. I pray for my caregiver, Stacy. We ask you, God, to heal the tumors in Jesus' name. Dry them up at the root. We pray, God, we pray. We pray for her beautiful mother. We pray for her beautiful aunt. We ask you to bless them. We ask you to bless Corey and Chancey on this glorious Thanksgiving, God. We ask you, Lord, to watch after them and to care for them as they partake of Thanksgiving meal together. We thank you how they even serve me on Thanksgiving a meal. I'm grateful. Bless the food, oh God, but more so bless the lives. Lord, we ask you today to touch those that are serving at work on Thanksgiving Day. Let them be patient and kind and let those that are buying and purchasing things be gracious and kind to those that are sacrificing for their families and working diligently for their homes. Father, help men that need jobs to find them. Help women that need to go back to school or have a dream of taking care of their families better to prepare healthier meals. Touch them in that area of their lives. Touch young women to wait on you, God, before saying yes. Let the men be the husband in training for the young girl, for the young wife to be. Let them know by their witness, by how they follow you, they'll learn how to treat their wives. They'll learn how to treat people on their jobs. Bless men everywhere today. God, please, and thank you. Bless women that are praying <laughs> relentlessly for teachers, for those that are handling their children. <laughs> Lord, you know we women, we're long-winded. Look at this prayer. But what would happen if women failed to pray? Thank you that we can come to you, God, as sisters, as mothers, as grandmothers, as aunts, as friends that care. Let us keep winning on our knees in this city as we pray to you. Father God, I thank you for all those in ministry that have touched my life, that got me to this point, that I'm on my knees, simply grateful. Bless all of them. Bless my father in ministry, Pastor Terry A. Gaddy, and his queenly wife, Diane. She will never know how much she inspired my life. 
not just my father in ministry, his wife. It's why it's important, women, that when you're serving alongside other pastor men, we are watching you, first ladies. We are watching you. It's how I grew up to become a better senior pastor because I saw how first ladies go through with elegance. For my brother in ministry, Pastor Mark Nolan, and his beautiful queenly first lady, Pastor Tawana, that walks beside him. I love you guys. I might not see you all, all the time, but I'm praying for you all the time. For Dwight and Joanne Holland, I'm praying always for you, my brother in ministry. My sister, I miss all of us singing together. For my sis, Pastor Barbara, God bless you. That's now serving and working on her doctorate. Father, bless her and her companion. Bless Michael, God, and bless, oh God, their home. Bless God. My cousin Cookie. Bless my Auntie Geneva and my Aunt Jackie, my Aunt Wee Wee. Bless Uncle Larry and his beautiful wife. And for all that I can't call to remembrance the second, I thank God for you. And you know I love you. And I'm praying for you always. This is the servant's prayer of Pastor Shultina. You all know me in real life as Pastor Yvetta Jackson Jones. <laughs> to God be the glory for all God has done, for all God is doing, and for what he is about to do. May God keep your home safe. In Jesus' name, amen. Shalom. Shalom. Go in peace. This concludes our Thanksgiving prayer here at Freedom Gospel Church. To God be all the glory. And thank you for your presence as we pray together on our knees. And it does not yet appear what we shall be but we shall be like him greater is coming greater is coming in Jesus name amen